Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the very first episode of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. You're getting to see some of this terrific intro here. Look at him, he's floating. This guy's just having the time of his life right now. Oh, he looks angry. Oh boy. Okay, so I would go over the controls and things like that right now, down here in this panel. But, um... Fortunately for you guys, you don't have to see that. And unfortunately for me, this is the second time I am recording this episode. Because it did not record my audio on the actual game side last time, so... There's that. But, we'll progress. I do know the controls now. The first thing we want to do is go under Options. Oh. I forget how to do this fast. And that's how we want. Let's go in there and make sure that that's saved. That'll make this a whole lot quicker on our end. And I'm going to try and turn down the the actual volume on my side, so that way hopefully it doesn't carry into the mic, but this mic is pretty sensitive, so it may carry into it. Um, I'm not going to read this whole thing. Uh, if Nick was here, Nick would definitely want to read it. But it's the introduction to Pokemon Yellow. I mean, come on, guys. If you're watching this, you've probably seen it before. If not, my bad. But we're going to name our guy Average Joe, of course course and our rival uh, who's our rival well being as this is gonna be on YouTube and we only have four subscribers we'll say YouTube is our rival that nasty son of a bitch <laughs> okay <laughs> now but this is just kind of like the introduction to the game, you know, if you've played any Pokemon game before, very similar. And to start off the game, as I said, I did play this first episode at least twice now. So we're just gonna get right into it with exploring just what we need to. And the goal for this episode, where I was at last time, is we want to be... We just want to finish the trainer battle and rank our Pokemon up to like level 8. We'll have three of them. As long as I do everything I did last time. But I know where to get everything I want now, so that's a plus. And he caught the Pokemon. He's like, woo! A Pokemon can appear anytime in the tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Like I said, if Nick was here, man. He would really be chatting it up in character with these guys. He would not be happy that I'm not doing my diligence. But we're trying to get through this without boring you guys to death. That's my goal. Every now and then there may be an episode that's kind of a, a grindy episode. Which, you know, if you've ever played these games, you'll know this first episode is going to be pretty grindy. Now we get to the harder part. Our first rival battle is coming here, folks. After we get our magnificent Pikachu. Receive Pikachu. No. Um, if anybody drops any comments or has any names that they wish to give the Pokemon, you know, please let me know. Um, we don't have that many viewers, so yeah, first comment will win, I guess. But we're gonna try and leave, and he's gonna be like, Hell no. Let's battle. Come on. You know what? Bring it, buddy. I hope you're prepared for a lot of me spamming attack. Because that's really all I can do this first battle. I mean, I, I think that's all he does for the most part, so it doesn't make sense to do anything else. A thunder shock. Sorry, I'm still thinking of, like, red and blue. Oh, we paralyzed him. That normally does not happen to me, but he got a critical hit. So I guess that's fair. Or it's more than fair, you know? Hopefully he's paralyzed here and can't move. Nope, we lost the first battle. 
Off to a great start, folks. Yeah, that one's so hit or miss. And if that's any foreshadowing, that means he's probably going to be a pain in the ass the whole rest of the game. If we talk to it and see how it feels about me, it's probably not going to like me very much because we just lost. Yeah, it hates me. You know what, Pikachu, you stubborn son of a bitch? Why don't we go up and get the parcel for Oak? What a joyous start to our adventure. Oh boy. Our first battle with Pikachu. Hopefully it's a Pidgey. It is. Okay, we could take down a Pidgey. Pikachu's got this one. So our goal before battling our rival is we want Pikachu to be like level, probably level 9 or 10. And then our other two Pokemon to be around level 8. That's where I got them to last time. And the battle was a walk in the park, so. I'm hoping to do the same. Usually I get a Pidgey, but I've been trying to experiment with Pokemon that I normally don't capture on a playthrough. So, that's gonna be the goal moving forward here. Okay. Hey, yeah, I came from Pal Town. How you know me? Yeah, I know that old man. I'll take it to him. If you give me $20, good sir. He didn't give me the $20, so we're not gonna take it to him. Just kidding. That's how we have to progress in the game. <laughs> And, you know what, since he didn't take any damage, I'm just going to take Pikachu right through the grass. Since we know he's relatively safe for the time being. And, of course, we run into a Rattata. Like I said, this whole first episode, and maybe even, like, part of the second episode is going to be... Ah, the second one will be going through the forest, but... This first one is going to be pretty grindy. It'll probably be a little bit longer in a lot of the episodes up until we get to the end, but I feel like the whole uh, Pokemon Yellow, a lot of the Pokemon games in general are really grindy if you want like almost a definite win, so. And you know, I may make in the future if there's uh, grindy episodes, they may be their own like separate episodes, but we'll see. He shouldn't be as upset with me now. Yeah, he's just a little depressed. Nothing that some antidepressants won't fix with this guy. Now, on, there's tricks to make him a little bit happier than he is right now, and we're going to start utilizing some of those very soon, but we need to beat this first section of the game. Like I said, Pikachu needs to be, like, level 10-ish for our first fight. So that's why we're kind of, you know, there is a way around this without going through the grass. I'm sure all of you know. You could minimalize this whole trip here, but that's not going to be the, the go-to for the first episode. We don't want to. We don't want Pikachu to be weak for our first battle against YouTube, because YouTube's going to prove to be a formidable foe. Okay, so now we need to go and talk to Oak. Uh, I learned a lot as a trainer, alright. I just walked up and down a path, buddy. He gives us a Pokeball. Dickhead walks in. AKA YouTube. Now he's gonna give us the Pokeducks and he's gonna give us a mission that we're not even gonna come close to accomplishing. He uses his psychic powers to just throw it into our inventory. He doesn't need me. His sister's not gonna give me- a joke's on him, I'm about to go sleep with his sister. 
let's see. Let me make sure that, yep, okay. I just wanted to make sure I had the, the start button there, because saving is going to be pretty vital. Um, as I said, I, I already recorded this first episode, but we lost it. And then, beyond that, um, between the download and upload button in the bottom left there, I clicked uh, upload instead of download, and it restarted my game. So I lost all of the footage, so it doesn't matter anyways. You know, we lost on both accounts. Pikachu's just gonna battle so we can get up to the town and get some Pokeballs. Then we're gonna go and get our first two vital Pokemon in battling. And those ones, we want to have them at, like, like I said, those two will be roughly level 8. Pikachu will be roughly level 10. And then before we battle Brock, we want all of them around... Or at least Pikachu and one of the Pokemon we'll be capturing around level 12. Because that will help us out immensely with one of the Pokemon we'll be capturing. And, like I said, normally I would come here and get a Pidgey, but... We're trying to be a little bit original, trying not to use the same Pokemon that I use every single time I play through this game, so... With that being said, we will still be getting uh, a Charizard and Venusaur, so... Or Ivysaur, whatever his final. I don't know them at the top of my head, but we'll be getting some of the trio there. Though, if you noticed, I said it. We will be getting Squirtle as well, uh, but we won't be using him as much. I have different plans for that aspect, so. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So now we're gonna go up here, and there's loud cars passing me because I'm doing this in the middle of the afternoon, but it's better than when I was recording last night. Um, when I was doing that last night, there was some drunk people screaming which also was just great for the recording. You know, it made everything come out flawlessly. <laughs> hey, that's how they do it with Average Joe, right? Nothing great ever comes out. Ah, son of a bitch. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Okay, now we go up to the Mart. We want to buy Pokeballs. Not that many. We want, like, six. That should be good. And then the rest, we just want to spend on potions. And that's gonna be it for a while. You'll see, um, let's see how Pikachu's doing. I keep trying to go the other way, forgetting that that's not how you tell. So he's still a little upset. Um, the more we give him items, the more he's just gonna like us in general. Yeah, woo. Yep, that's right. Punk. I got Pokemon. Uh, we're gonna go up here. There's a hidden potion up here, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And then... The more we get Pikachu items, the more he's gonna fall in love with this quick. So instead of going there to heal every time, we're going to just, uh continuously pump him full of potions until he can't attack anymore, and then we'll take him there, but... We do not want the female Nidoran, we want the male Nidoran, so that way we can get Nidoking and just obliterate the first half of the game. So let's grind through these guys. And this is... Catching our first two Pokemon is likely going to get Pikachu to a level where he is superior to the rest of the Pokemon that we have. Like, he, he should be close to level 10 by the end of the grinding. Okay, here's our first Pokemon we want, but he's a level 2. So we'll see if one Thundershock kills him. I believe you can get a level 4 in here, so I'm gonna try and look for a level 4 instead. Um, in, in the past episodes, I did get level 2, but... What it ends up doing is, it makes these grinding sections a lot longer than they need to be. So... Ah, uh, level 2 again. Is it, level 2 isn't like... It's not bad this early in the game. But it... 
It's just a lot more grinding that you guys would have to sit here and watch and kind of trying to streamline it while also giving you everything that the game has to offer. You know? Okay. Is this guy level 4? Yeah. We want this guy. You know what? Let's... Let's just take a, a leap of faith and try and catch him. I don't think he's going to put up much of a fight with us. But we're going to want Sparrow. As a good flying type. I would attack him, but I think Pikachu's just going to KO him. Try it. I get. We'll try it. I, I think he's gonna kill him though. Oh, perfect. I should have did that from the get go. Cause now we only have two Pokeballs to capture our next Pokemon, which is gonna be a level four Nidoking, King or Nidoran, four Nidoran, like I said, male. Let's throw some of our potions in the mix here. That way we don't have to go back and forth. And like I said, it's going to make Pikachu like us a whole lot more. If we go and look at him. See, now he's smiling. Now we got a smiley Pikachu. Now he's a happy little guy. And now we just need a level 4 Nidoran, which we might get right here. Ah, oh, level 2. I don't want to get a level 2 one, because then it's just going to be a pain in the ass to level them up. You know, it, it just makes the whole experience here a lot shittier. And we don't want a female. So we don't want Nidoqueen. Queen. I don't know much about Nidoqueen, Queen, but I do know... Uh, we want, like, the double kick, I think it's called, for Brock's gym. Which Nidoran male will learn at 12. I don't know if there's any difference between male and female in terms of what they do, but I've notoriously just always gotten the male for the start of the game. And I know I said I'm trying to avoid like what I would normally do, but I think here it does make a world of difference to have one versus the other. So yeah, like I said, this episode's gonna be a little bit grindy. You can see Pikachu has three levels to go until we fully level and get the one we get the level we want for this battle up against YouTube, but I promise it pays off to have Pikachu at level 10 and the others at level 8 this early in the game. You know, you'll definitely get more bang for your buck. And once we get Nidoran, um, we could start moving into the forest and kind of level some deal with some higher level Pokemon so that way we could level up pretty quick and then we could just jump back down here uh, level 2 son of a bitch I don't think I think you can get a level 4 one in here like I'm pretty sure I got one yesterday okay he's level 8 yep. that honestly should be good enough for the rival battle but I guess, like, while we're looking for a male Nidoran, we might as well... Okay, there's one. Level 4, come on. Son of a bitch. All we want is a level 4. I'm trying to use, like, the stay-on-the-same-line kind of tactic here. Uh, Rattata. We definitely do not want a Rattata on our team. I think our rival might have one, but honestly, they're pretty useless. At least in my opinion. I know a lot of people could go back and forth and say, eh, actually, they're pretty decent, but I've never had any luck with Rattata on the team. This is Sparrow. Thank God we got him early, because he can be... He's usually the one I struggle to find, not the level 4 Nidoran. 
go up one line, go back and forth a few times. Okay. And this is like... Yeah, this episode and the one... There'll be one later, oh, finally. Okay, let's try and Thunder Wave him. I think that just paralyzes. Okay, so we paralyzed. Let's try and Pokeball. Hopefully we can get him. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try and attack here. Maybe I'll try and switch out, just knowing that Sparrow likely isn't gonna kill him. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried that Pikachu will be able to one-shot him, but I know Sparrow definitely will not. So even if we get two in here, should we go for another one? I think we could fit it in here. If we lose it, it's my fault. Okay, good. Let's throw our last Pokeball at him and hope for the best, guys. Come on, come on. Yeah, okay, we got our team. Our starter team is ready. Now we just need to go level up these two guys to level 8. So for that, we're just we're gonna go into the beginning of the Viridian Forest and just start taking down people, or not people, but taking down Pokemon. I find that that's a lot easier to heal or to uh, to attack with Sparrow to level him up quick. And then Nidoran also isn't gonna struggle with anything up there, so. This time, we're moving a little bit faster than we were last time, which is really good. You know, it's a good sign for you guys. I think we were about five or six minutes slower the last time I did this, so it should help with playability. This guy's had his coffee now. We didn't talk to him beforehand, so... I think because we already caught a Pokemon, he always misses here. Like, I think if we didn't have a Pokemon yet, he would be showing us how to catch one, but I think this Pokemon's gonna run away. Yeah. Okay, and then the girl really has, like, nothing to say with us. She's just kind of, like, talking about catching Pokemon. So. You know, like, what we're doing right now, but... Try not to get into a fight there, good. I don't think anything there would be a problem, but it would just be like more healing and stuff we'd have to do. Whereas like if we just come up into here, it's a whole lot easier because everything's gonna be weak to Sparrow. Oh, and he should get some killer XP from killing this guy. Ah, uh, but it, yeah, I forgot. I don't, I don't think I saw a level 6 the whole time I was battling here. Honestly, I'm tempted to catch him. I don't know. Oh, I don't have a Pokeball anyway, so I can't. But our team of 3 right now is going to be a pretty killer team to start the game with. And then we don't want to start any battles here because we want to remain somewhat in order. But not... We don't need to worry about it too much, but it would be nice, so... We're just gonna get into some wild battles up here. They're just a lot easier for our team to take out than elsewhere. At least for Sparrow's sake, so... So we're kind of coming up here just to baby him a little bit. It would be nice to have a Butterfree, though. Honestly, Butterfree's, like, not that great on the team. And all we'd be doing is wasting time because we would want him leveled up to Butterfree and high enough that he learns, like, the Psychic move, which we could use against Brock. And then, I mean, at that point... Oh, this should get some good XP. He might be able to kill my Sparrow, though. So you have to be careful here. 
mean, if he does, he does, but... And I, it looks like it's gonna be some good XP for our friend. Or uh, maybe we could share it here. Nidoran will jump in real quick. This is honestly when I should be using Pikachu to get like those extra two levels we want, but Nidoran's so low that it, it'll be helpful to get him in there a little bit. As long as he doesn't die right here. Which is a very real possibility. Yep, he's dead. Uh, he survives. Usually not a fan of giving them potions inside a battle, but Nidoran could really use it. And like I said, our main objective is to get these two guys leveled up, so... Oh my god. Come on, just hit him. And now he's dead, for sure. Yes. Oh. Looks like we're gonna have to return to the city anyways. How much HP does he have? We'll give that to Sparrow. If we could at least get him up to level 8 before we leave here. That would be helpful. You know, it'd feel like we actually did our job up here. I think there's one trainer battle over to the other side that I did last time accidentally, so we can avoid that as well. You know, that'll be a good plus. But it's As you come in, it's to the left, so... He's at level 6 now, so he just needs two more levels. And then we'll be good. And then Pikachu, honestly, could get away at level 9. I think the strongest Pokemon he has is going to be at level 10. But he only has two Pokemon, where we'll have three, so... Puts us at a bit of an advantage. I don't know what's this way. Oh, there's a Pokeball. Oh, we found a Pokeball. So maybe if we see a good Pokemon here, we'll catch him. I don't know, though. It's just, it's one of those things, like, I know I'm gonna get rid of the Pokemon, so I don't want to catch them just because it would be nice to have now. Like, the only positive I could see coming out of it is that we most likely then know we're not gonna die all the time, because we have a spare Pokemon to kind of work with, but anything this early in the game should be able to be taken out with the team that we're building now. Okay, we got rid of him. Sparrow's at level 7, which means just one more level for our little buddy, and then we can go to the Poke Center, and we can get ready. I think this trainer you will battle, but I, I think you have to talk to them first. And I think that's the mistake I made last time, as I walked up and talked to them thinking, oh, they didn't challenge me, so they must not be a trainer. And then they turned out to be a trainer. Okay, there we go. Doesn't help that they're not facing the direction that we were walking in there, but... again. Like I said, we're just kind of grinding these guys right now. And if we really wanted to take down Brock nice and easy, we could just get a Mankey. Then we could just kind of spank him, but... Our goal is to be, like, more realistic than just having, like, advantages. Like, I only want to use Pokemon that I think I would normally use, you know? Or not to say, like, normally used, but, like, wouldn't be unrealistic for a first-timer to come and get. And for me, Mankey is not... He would never be my personal choice, starting out the game. I mean, it's helpful to have him, but... 
like after that initial Brock fight. I don't know if you really want him on your team. It's a level up spirit. And it will give some level to Pikachu as well, which is going to be helpful here shortly. So you want Pikachu to at least be... I normally go for 10, but I think 9 will be good. I just want him to be the strongest member of the team. I don't know if that helps with him being happy, but... I don't know. I, I just think your starter should be the strongest of your team. It just kind of doesn't feel right if they aren't. You know, if they're all the same level, that's fine too, but... I don't know. We'll have plenty of opportunities to battle with Pikachu as we're leveling up Nidoran as well, so... This may be the last battle for Sparrow up until our rival fight. I think he's gonna turn into level 8 here, which is definitely good enough. But then we still have to level up 4 levels with Nidoran, so don't get too excited, folks. Yep, he's level 8. So we're good to take him. We have to heal both our Pokemon anyways. I think these two people just give us warnings. Uh, she says, look for Pokemon outside of Viridian Forest if you want all of them, because there's only three there. Be careful, it's a maze in there. And just kind of expected, but... As we know, the gym is closed in this town. I don't know if anybody here has us has anything to give us, but we might check that. It depends how far we make it. You know, I wanna, I definitely wanna beat our rival here, which is gonna be our, my sole goal in a minute. We just have to level up our Nidoran, and then we'll be good to go. We may not even need to level him up, honestly. Like in terms of beating our opponent, but. We don't just want to beat our opponents in this game, guys. We want to slaughter them, you know? You know all that stuff that uh, Oak tells Gary throughout the series where he's like, it's, there's a lot more than just clobbering your opponent. Well, I'm here to tell you guys, he's a big foul liar. That's all that there is. Just clobber your opponent. Clobber them to death. And then you're the winner, you know? What else can I say? But, you know, like I did mention, um, hopefully you enjoy this video up until this point. If you do, please feel free to like or put a comment down below of any Pokemon you would like to see captured and any names you'd like given to them. But, like I said, these first couple episodes are definitely going to be more, um, they're going to be more focused on just kind of grinding up our low-level Pokemon here in the beginning. I might even start, like, just switching out here, so that way Pikachu reaches level 10, and Nidoran levels up pretty quickly as well. It'll take a little bit longer, but being as that's what we were going to do anyways, we're kind of killing two birds with one stone here. Nidoran's not going to be a quick level up kind of guy. Luckily, we don't have to go back into the forest. So that could be a pain, but Nidoran doesn't have any advantage there, so it really doesn't make sense to go into the forest. And the only reason we want Pikachu any higher is because we would like our, our starter Pokemon to be better than the rest of our Pokemon, so... And not necessarily better, but have the advantage. I think that'll make Pikachu happy, and if we want to get the other starters, Pikachu has to be pretty static about his day. Hopefully we find like some Pidgeys and stuff like that, because there we go. Oh, level 5 too. That's a nice level. Like just to find a Pidgey like that. I don't think Nidoran alone is going to be able to take him out. No, that was a critical hit too. Jesus, man. Nidoran's really bad early game. But it's helpful to have him prior to going up against Brock. If you could get him at level 12, he's just a complete tank against Brock's team because he'll know double kick. And Pikachu's missing. But one shot should KO him. Yep. K 
Okay, Nidoran's moving up the chain. Let's see how Pikachu's feeling. Oh, look at that smiley little guy. He's excited. He's ready to go on an adventure. And an adventure we are about to go on. Okay, level three. Let's see, can Nidoran make quick work of this guy now? Probably not. Okay. You know what, let's throw Pikachu back in the ring, just because, like I said, I do want Pikachu to move up one level at least. So we'll do that until he reaches nine, and then we'll just focus on Nidoran. You know, that'll be the, the game plan here for a little bit. At least a couple minutes, like maybe two or three. We seem to be getting some pretty good spawns here, so... Everybody's taking damage. Nidoran's holding his own. But I don't think he can for, like, full battles. Like, I think he's, like, a one-and-done at this level. Or if he can take down that Pokémon, if you run into another one, you're in serious trouble. There we go. Nidoran, Pikachu. Let's go into our items. Potion. We're not really worried about Nidoran. We don't have to really make him all that happy, but Pikachu has to stay like this level of happy, if not more. And that's... we just want the starters, you know? They're fantastic in this game, and not only are they fantastic in this game, they're just cool to have in general. Like, we definitely want Charizard. Right? Otherwise, would it... Arcanine might be, like, the next best fire type in this game? And although, like, fire types aren't notoriously great in this game, we're gonna need him. You know, he'll prove his worth as the game goes on. Okay. Doing a little bit better. Finishing up a drink. Uh, I think Radita's gonna go for a status. Nope. He's gonna kill me. Yeah, sure, Pikachu, go ahead. Maybe we'll level him up here. And then maybe we only need to... Ah, uh, no, I don't know. At least level 7 for our Nidoran. I'd like him to be level 8, because he does have to be 12 by the time we get to... Brock. And there's not going to be much that Nidoran's going to be helpful with in Viridian Forest, so it's going to be... You know, switching him out and things like that, just so that way he could reach, like, level 11. And then we can battle Brock's Grunt with him. But, I don't know. What level is he? I think he's at 5 right now, which is quite a jump. I mean, even for a first episode, to go over 45 minutes is gonna be a big jump. Being as the other episodes are likely gonna be 30 to 40 minutes a pop. But, you know, it is the starter episode, so... There is a little bit of that grindy nature expected. Let's see Pikachu. He should still be happy. Yep, he's happy. Pokemon... Nidoran. Let's see his stats. Does it show you how many points until he levels up? Okay, he needs three points. So this should not be difficult. We don't want to go back in here to level him up, because there's going to be other Nidoran and stuff like that, and it's just going to be a pain. Like, it just ends up causing more of a pain in the ass than it's worth. Maybe we'll go back into Viridian Forest, at least there, there were, like, some level 6 Pokémon and stuff like that. You know, and a lot of them up there only know, like, Harden. Especially because Nidoran's, now that Pikachu's up in level, we kind of want Nidoran to be his own kind of tank here, so, you know, him taking out things on his own would be really helpful. Oh, the defense fell. Oh, come on, we 
really need an attack here. See what I'm saying? Like, Nidoran isn't... He's not a great option low level. He's gonna be as soon as he levels up, but... I wonder if it'll... I don't know if he'll one-shot us here. I shouldn't have used Leer, I should have used anything else. And by anything else, I mean the only other fighting option move that we have. But we're gonna give that potion to him. No, I guess any experience is gonna be good experience for this guy. And mainly what he's gonna do in our first battle is just Leer the hell out of the opponent. So, that's usually, um, YouTube, or Gary, or The Rival, or whatever you want to call him. He likes to just weaken us a lot, right off the get-go. So we're gonna kind of use that to our advantage. And do the same thing back to him. And that should give us some sort of advantage in that fight because he's going to do it to every Pokemon that we throw at him, but if we do it to Eevee, by the time that Nidoran dies, whoever follows, which will likely be Pikachu, is just going to storm in and kill him. See what I mean? At least up here they can't hurt Nidoran, so Nidoran stands a chance at getting good chunks of XP without having to go back down and heal and all that good stuff. Okay, we got a crit. It's level 7. I think he would be good enough. Let's see how many XP points it takes to level him up one more level. Okay, 41. We, we can get him 41 points, the little guy. You know, that's not too many to ask for. It's like 2-3 battles max, so... Unless it's against a Pidgey that'll demolish him. Then he might die. Oh, come on, little buddy. I don't know, guys. Do you think you could take him? I don't think he could take him. Hopefully he doesn't get a crit here. Okay. We're gonna switch Pikachu in. I don't want to go down and heal, and I only have one potion left, so... Plus, like I said, Pikachu is going to be the leader of our tribe here, so... Maybe they'll each get, like, 20? Yeah, that's fair. We usually want to save one for the rival battle, but... Okay, Pikachu sounds happy. We have to be careful when battling with Pikachu, because if he gets upset at any point in time, we're in trouble. Okay. I think Nidoran can take this guy out on his own. He's a level 4, so not as bad. Yeah, he's got it. And then this should be it. And we should be able to go down, do the rival battle. With not a problem. Go, he's level 8. We got everybody right where they want him. And he learned Horn Attack. Which I didn't know he learned at level 8. I must have forgot that part, but that is beneficial to our battle as well. So you want to go all the way down here. We're going to want to heal up first because we don't have any potions left. And then we're going to take on our rival, and that'll be the end of this episode. Let's get ready. This is going to be an epic battle with YouTube. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's heal. How's it going, Nurse Joy? Okay, you can have them. I mean, they're pretty cool guys, but... I don't know if saving on this is going to help us at all, but...
Next, what we want to do before we go into the battle and I forget. Okay. That's not what we want to do. We want to switch Pikachu into our starting slot. Because I think he's going to throw a bird at us first. I'm pretty sure he has a Pidgey or a Sparrow. I don't think he has a Nidoran. And we might want to run away from this unless it's a Sparrow. I know Pikachu can kill him, so I'm just gonna... Just gonna blast him out of here. Yeah, as long as we don't take any damage there, we're fine. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to the Pokemon League. I don't need any training. Yes, they got stronger, punk. Let's see what he's got. I think he's got a shitty team, from what I remember. Okay, we want to Thundershock the hell out of this guy. Just want to get him out of there. Okay, we got him down. Yes, we want to switch. We want to throw our Nidoran back out there. And our goal with our Nidoran is just gonna be to get Eevee as a status effect as possible. Because that's all he's going to do to us. So we're just going to throw his defense right out the window. That way when our next Pokemon comes in, they can just clobber him. And you see, he's, he's kind of picking up, I think. He knows the drill. We hit him four times, I think one more and I'll be comfortable. Okay. Let's throw a Sparrow in there. We're gonna lower his attack as well, mine as well, right? See, now he can hardly do anything to us. And now we should just be able to clobber him with any Pokemon we throw. I should have let Pikachu get the win there, but that's fine. Many tough trainers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's battle through th this other side of the grass. We're going to try and get two wild encounters. I don't think there's any different Pokemon there, but it'll be cool to see if there is, so. I think it's just a lot of Mankey. Okay, it's a Rattata. Honestly, I'm not really that concerned with seeing a lot of Rattata, so we can just blow him out of the water. We'll try to get one more sight in here. I don't think we're going to see anything, but... Anything that we haven't seen yet. And this is just an effort to keep Pikachu a level higher as well, too. Hopefully that gets him to level 10. I don't know. Killing Eevee definitely would have, but we were dumb. He's still satisfied. That's all we need to know. So we'll go, we'll heal, and then we'll end the episode there, guys. You know, not much else that we can do in this little area besides talk to people, and we don't need to do that at this point in time, so. Okay, let's heal. Do, 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 do. Okay. There we go, and let's do a quick save. Yes. And that's it for this episode, guys. From Pikachu and myself, you know, we hope you enjoyed this episode. We hope to see you on episode two. But until then, have a good one, guys, and we'll see you next time.